Allow me to introduce, firstly, Kim Sorensen, um, owner and uh, chief designer, CEO of the dental manufacturing company ExoCare in Denmark. He has devoted his entire career to dental unit manufacturing, and um, he is um, he has taken the lead in development of very many different uh, unit iterations, and now very recently with the XO flow. And Christian Coachman, the pioneer in developing a, a whole new um, concept of aesthetics and digital um, facially driven design and oral restoration. That is the concept that you have pioneered in a world where we are seeing still more focus on aesthetic dentistry. So allow me to begin by asking you, Kim, um, this is the world premiere of, of XOFLOW. And um, when you launched the product in Copenhagen in June, uh, uh, that was a pre-launch for an exclusive invited uh, Danish-only audience. The press wrote, this is a revolution to the way we work in dentistry. So now, how does it feel to be at the world premiere in front of uh, a, a global audience? How does it feel to sit here today? I think it has been a fantastic uh, premiere. We had, we had a fantastic feedback from, from the audience, from our customers, the dental practices, so I must say I'm really proud to be able to present the, f the world's first real digital computer-driven dental unit. And, uh, but of course, it's not just me, it's the whole team behind who has made this possible, but it's also our group. We are working together with a group of international dentist advisory panel that has been a, a major factor in creating and developing this. And one of these members is Christian, so also thank you to you, Christian, for your assistance. My pleasure, yes. So is it uh, fair to say that the development of a, a dental unit, that is, that there's like between 15 and 20 years uh, interval between every time you see a new innovation, a unit innovation in the dental industry, and maybe even historically, you can say that over the past 100, 150 years, it hasn't really changed much. A dental chair is a dental chair. Now, you are introducing a, a digital integrated treatment solution, uh, a game changer. So that has taken you a while. In fact, it has taken you exactly between 10 and 15 years or 10 and 12 years. Uh, why has it taken you so long? I mean, it's true that the interval between launching a new unit is in the range of 15 years, but actually we work all the time during all the 15 years, and with this specific XO flow unit we have, in fact, this is the fourth iteration. So we made, before we launched this unit, we made three completely finished units that we then abandoned. We didn't think that they were good enough. So it's a matter of, it takes a long time if you want to do something that is good. Are you a perfectionist? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let me hand over to you, Christian. You are also a true innovator and a true believer in, in design thinking, as it were. Um, we have seen this increased focus on or, uh, uh, an increased interest in, in, uh, in aesthetic dentistry. Can you reveal to us what is the secret recipe behind your DSD concept that has dentists from across the world flock to your DSD residency uh, training programs because they want to learn what it is that you do so well? Uh, I'm a big fan of what you guys do. Uh, as you guys know, design is definitely one of my biggest passions, not only in dentistry, but in, in anything in life, you know, mastering the process between combining function and design, I think it's an art. And uh, to see what you guys developed is just uh, amazing. Thank you. Um, I love the expression design thinking, as you guys use all the time, because I believe that design thinking for me means that you can uh, fulfill the wishes of your customer in two different ways, you know, from the rational side and also from the emotional side. Design thinking means that whatever you create uh, can make something work 
technically speaking, uh, pragmatically speaking, but also can uh, work on the unconscious side of the user, uh, meaning that people uh, that are using uh, something that has this philosophy sometimes don't even know why they're enjoying the process, but they are just enjoying. And that means that design is meeting function in a beautiful way. Uh, treatment planning should be a design thinking process because you need to combine aesthetics and function, for example. Uh, you need to design something that is beautiful, but is also healthy. And it's, it's beautiful to see that usually something that functions well naturally looks good. And something that naturally looks good usually functions very well. Um, and, and I think that this is the art of a small architect, as I like to say, the small rehabilitator. So DSD is all about understanding the process of becoming a real small architect, uh, combining you know, design, function, and biology, but also uh, create experiences, emotional experiences by design for the patient. Uh, changing completely the perception that society has about dentistry. It's, it's an invitation to rethink the way we run our businesses and the way we care about our patients and the way we bring them through this amazing, beautiful journey of health and confidence through their smiles. Maybe you can help, help me understand a bit better or elaborate on the concept of what it is that constitutes great design. What is good design? Uh, you know, ideal design for me is when you combine performance and fascination. I think these two words define very well uh, high-end design. You know, we, need to prov we need to live that and provide that to our patients. You know, to, to imagine that two-thirds of our adult life we will probably spend in our dental office and around uh, these machines, you know, we, we will spend much more time around this unit than uh, around our fancy car. So I think that the priorities are kind of inverted. But I always <laughs> say to, to my customers, imagine you spend, you're going to spend 30,000 hours with this chair, at least. Mm -hmm. And so it, it really matters if you choose a good solution, an extraordinary solution, like I call it, or an ordinary mm -hmm. solution, mm -hmm. not so good solution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really important, and I'm really glad that, that you also mentioned mm -hmm. this. And you spent numerous of hours, I know, on going to dental practices, and you just sit there and watch, because you yourself, you are not a dentist, so no. how, how do you combine your engineering skills with actually what it takes to, to assist Christian's customers no. to, to create this great appeal in the mm. clinic? I, I watch what my customers, they do, and what they don't do, and think about it, and wonder why are things done as they are? Often they are done by tradition. We have always done like that. Nobody really knows why it's done like that. Mm. And I think one of, of the things that I can add to the equation is that I have an open mind say, why do we do like we have always done if it's not the best way? So this is, I think this is what, what I could add to mm. dentistry, mm. shaking it a little bit. Uh, you have created a, a strategic partnership. You have uh, you've begun actually having some frequent talks about possibilities of of going even further and and taking design thinking and passion for for creativity and aesthetics to a next level. So, can can you tell me a little bit about this collaboration? To start with, uh, for me, it's just a privilege to be around cool people. The cool factor is one probably that brought us together at the beginning. Uh, and of course now, uh, the other thing that I see is the passion for education. Uh, your unit is for itself an educational unit. The amount of tutorials and, and just by working with the unit, the unit is kind of teaching you how to work better. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, uh, it's mentoring on the process of working in a more healthy way, work, working in a more efficient way. So uh, it is an edu educational unit, right? And education is another big passion of mine on, mm. on how can you help dentists share 
become a curator of great ideas, mm. filter these ideas, and bring what really matters to the dentist that probably, hopefully, Monday morning will make a difference for them. So the passion for sharing information and sharing things that may be very useful are things that also, I think, bring us together. So how can we combine these efforts uh, to bring better solutions to your community and to my community, to ExoCare and DSD communities, uh, to help uh, this modern dentist to become a reality for more people. But I think, I think we are complementing each other in a fantastic way. I think we have the same basic vision of things, but we're doing completely different things. Mm -hmm. And I think this combination... And is we like good wine as well. <laughs> yes. That's that something else. <laughs> <laughs> I think this, this, this that, that we come from each, let's say, different uh, uh, areas of dentistry, but have, in a way, the same... I think we understand each other very uh -huh. well. It's easy for us to, to, to speak together and understand. I think this is, I think this is a good base for creating, mm -hmm. let's say, new, exciting, mm -hmm. extraordinary mm -hmm. solutions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.